say thank you to Terry. Uh, I want to say thank you to Steve Gray, who you're going to hear from in just a few moments. West Point is a true American-made success story. With a legacy tracing all the way back to 1813. That's a long time. That is truly a legacy. This company has long been an innovator in U.S. textile manufacturing. The 260 Northwest Floridians who, who are here represent a heritage passed down for generations of proud Americans. A lineage that has unfortunately grown smaller and smaller in recent decades. As the global marketplace has become increasingly competitive and much of the industry has moved overseas, it is my understanding that West Point Home, right here in Chipley, Florida, is the last large-scale home textile manufacturer based in America. But now, even West Point is at risk. And I've seen the risk that y'all have faced. Now, Terry has told me about the things that y'all have done to make sure this plant continues. I'm humbled by your willingness to sacrifice. But there is a limit. There's a limit to how much you should have to sacrifice to have the certainty of a job. The program is the U.S. Bahrain Free Trade Agreement, and it's set to expire in 2016. West Point Home stands as the model for how the U.S. Bahrain Free Trade Agreement benefits the United States. I, look, I, we got to be a we got to be a good citizen to the world, but not at the expense of our own people. And without this extension of this tariff preference level under BAFTA. Cost will soar, thereby making it harder and harder for West Point Home to remain in business. That's why when I return after, after these two weeks here in the district, visiting with you and traveling across our 14 counties, uh, next week I will be introducing upon my return legislation to extend the TPL for another 10 years to 2026 to give this plan the certainty, to give the families that, that you represent the certainty of knowing that you will have gainful employment, that you will continue to be a part of this incredible family, producing incredible products, the certainty that you deserve, the certainty that your family, your children deserve. This is common sense. By the way, I didn't have to pray over this one. I think there's sometimes God doesn't, is not interested in our prayers when it's a common sense issue. Just do it. Look, the rising tide raises all the boats. So when this plant does well, this community does well. So this is a chamber issue. This is an economic development issue. I want to thank all of you for coming today. I want to thank Steve and Terry and all of you for your willingness to take a break and come listen about this very, very important subject that affects all of us. I want to thank you for hosting us. Thank you for your smile. And with your help, our aim is to prevent accidents. We want zero accidents. And it would be a terrible accident. A terrible accident for the Congress, the President, not to sign this extension to 2026 and give America a much needed win in Northwest Florida. I want to thank uh, I want to thank Steve, and now it's uh, my privilege to uh, to turn things over to Steve Gray. Uh, Steve is the executive vice president uh, and CFO uh, for a special announcement and some final words. Steve. It's, it's great to be back here in Chipley. It's great to get out and visit the locations. And I found it ironic that the congressman's family has been around for 200 years in the area, and West Point's been around for 200 years as a company, and we plan to be around a lot longer than that. So uh, uh, what a coincidence. I can't thank the congressman enough and, and his staff enough for their support. As Terry said, it's complicated when you're navigating through legislation in Washington and so forth. And their team is, is top shelf. If all of Washington operated like his staff, it would be a much better country. They, they were tremendous in supporting us and getting to this point. And we've got to work hard from here, but we really appreciate the help of the congressman and his staff and also the other great supporters that are here today. Um, in terms of the Chipley team, I want to just make a few quick comments and thank you for a few areas. First of all, the consolidation that we've done from Wagram, Wagram recently has gone exceptional. You guys did a great job with that. Um, also, we, we've received two great customer awards um, this year at the beginning of the year. Uh, one in our hospitality segment, 
and one in our retail segment from Target as a supplier of the year. So it's it's a great accomplishment of this team to be recognized by our Also, the, the Congressman mentioned safety, and we have a great safety record at this plant, and, and we really appreciate that, and as well as the, the safety brings along productivity, and the productivity metrics have been outstanding this year, and so thanks to you and Terry and the leadership team for all they've done to make us very successful this, uh, this year. And um, finally, I have a really exciting announcement um, for us here in Chipley. And uh, sometimes we talk about you know shovel-ready projects, and this may be a model because we're announcing today that we're moving our Chipley retail store from behind the plant to the Washington Square uh, Center, and so we'll have a retail outlet that will be more broadly available to the community and people traveling through the community. And so that's a great step in terms of making our products available to the community. It, it's a nice investment. It will add a few jobs to the community, and so we're tremendously excited about it. And as a matter of fact, yesterday we got board approval. We signed the lease, and Terry and I are going to go out, over out to the meeting and see the construction that's underway already at the, uh, at the lease location. So it, it's exciting to see progress that happens that quickly. So again, I want to conclude by just um, thanking the congressman and his staff for everything they're doing on our behalf. Thank you. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, and again, the retail operation is exciting. Uh, we'll have about 10, 11,000 square feet uh, and open seven days a week. And uh, so we're really excited about that. And uh, we're moving forward. And uh, it's all a tribute to the job that you've done. I just want to thank you. Uh, appreciate your efforts. And let's keep working at it. And uh, with that said, let's get back to work. Thank you all very much.